lesson on how to open a Stampin' Up! stamp pad. Now you would think that, oh, it can't be that difficult. Um, it should just open like that, voila. But no, it does not because our stamp pads, um, when they're stored, are actually stored with the pad facing upside down to keep the ink closer to the surface. Um, so let me show you our stampin' pad. All right, so here are the new ones. Um, these came out a few years ago, it's a new design. Um, and so you'll get it from where the little notch is here and you'll pry it open and then you're going to slide it until it clicks. Um, and then this way it is um, nice and flat and sturdy and it doesn't wiggle. Um, it pretty much stays where you keep it. Um, but um, then in order to close it, see it has little grooves here for your fingers so that way you know which side you're gonna hold it on. So you're gonna hold it firmly here and then um, there is like a little nail um, raised area where you can put your nails to pull it. So you're going to pull it towards um, the open spot. And then you're going to pull it all the way until it doesn't go anymore. And then you're going to fold it over and click. And voila, it's open and closed. And see how I said that it's stored upside down. So the top part, the door, is where the stamp pad is at. Now, if you were lucky enough to be gifted old um, stamp pads or you found them at a thrift store, great, because um, if you also got the re-inkers for them, and let me grab one here, it's these little bottles, and you can re-ink your stamp pad if it gets dry. You want it to be juicy, but not too juicy. Um, and so as they dry up a little bit, you can um, re-ink them. And that's great for these linen pads. And I miss these, I really liked these. Um, but with these, you first push it up. So, see here's the, the top side, and here's the bottom, and it has a little lip too. And usually they have just uh, instructions, but in case yours was covered by a label or whatnot that you can't read it, um, there's this little lip and you're going to, and then it also has the three little dots to tell you that's where you're gonna push from. So you push it forward, okay, till it unlocks, and then you're gonna lift it. And then like the other ones, you'll slide it um, until it clicks. And again, it stays pretty firm where you need it. Um, it has the hand grips on the side with even extra te texture. Um, the finger bed where you pull it so you'll be pulling first and then closing it so very similar to the other one but with this one instead of just closing right here like the other one did you have to slide it shut so it has just an extra little move to where you unclick it and click it back whereas this one was just lift and push pull, and close okay um, if you have any other questions, feel free to list them in the comment, comments area underneath um, the video. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.